you love yourself so much that no matter what happens in your life, good or bad, you will make it out and you will survive. Okay, part two of my uh, what I've learned in my 20s. If you haven't seen part one, uh, I will link that above and you can go check it out. I pretty much just go over my 30 things I want to do before I turn 30. Um, and I just explain more about what I've done the past year. So this next one is going to be about what I've learned. So let's rewind a little bit. 2021 friends, that means in 2011, a decade ago, I was 20. All right, I'm gonna get deep and personal on this one. I am turning 20, I might be 19 at this point. I am a in community college and I decide to go to university. So with that, I have decided to change my major. So when I first started at community college, I was going for HR, I was going for like, so then when I went to university, I changed my major to biology because I wanted to be a physician's assistant, which I have talked about on this channel a little bit. That meant that I left the friends at my community college to go to a new school. So I was still in my relationship from high school. I have talked about that here. You can go give that video a listen if you care. I was losing friendships, gaining friendships, and then my high school relationship was ending. There was just, it just, we were outgrowing each other. 2012 comes around 21st birthday. And this was when shit hit the fan. So I turned 21, but my best friends and my boyfriend, they were still 20. They couldn't go out. So my 21st birthday was kind of not as fun as what you would think it would be. Um, I also turned 21 on Mother's Day. So that was fun. Um, new school, fresh start, but also really scared for what the future had. I became an LNA. I did that, oh, this would help me with becoming a physician's assistant. I'm able to do more medical stuff. I'm able to work in a hospital. I can, you know, gain more experience. And um, so then that happened and I got my first like LNA job. So before that I was a resident assistant. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially an LNA, licensed nursing assistant. Uh, but you don't necessarily need a license because you work under the license of the facility. <laughs> My friend turned 21 and then we started going out to the bar all the time and then that's when kind of things ended with me and my high school boyfriend and then I realized that there were other fish in the sea. Um, and then that led to obviously like being heartbroken and going back and forth between being with him and not being with him and just like trying to figure everything out and it just didn't work out. Um, which meant that I kind of led into drinking more. Um, I would say that I learned quickly to stop the whole going out and drinking phase. Um, but that started happening and then I met my boyfriend at that time. And I lost my job because of drinking. And no, I didn't show up to work drunk. I was academically suspended from school because I was not getting the best of grades, which then my only, the only way that I could come back to school is if I changed my major altogether. Because the first semester of starting all biology classes, I fucked up. And the dean told me that I had to change my major. So I honestly picked psychology because at one point I enjoyed it and I loved the way that the mind works. 2014 happened and I'm 23-ish now. 
I am back into school. I still have my three jobs. Then I still wasn't putting school first because I was working. But 2015 comes around. It's my senior year. I'm ready to just full force get school done, finish it off, get my degree. And, um, and so I just full force worked part time and just well, the year that I graduated was 2017. No. Okay. The year that I graduated was technically 2016 in December, but I didn't have my ceremony until 2017. So now it's 2017 and I'm 26. So I actually graduated on my birthday, which was kind of cool. You know, <laughs> I got to walk on my birthday. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I walked and then not too long before that me and my boyfriend at the time bought a house and I had started a new job here uh, Towards the fall time was when I guess things hit the fan with me and my boyfriend at the time There was a lot of things that have happened in that relationship um, I've probably talked about it a little bit here. I'm not gonna go into more detail about it, but yeah, so we're back to square one. Where do I live? What do I do? What is my life? While all that was happening, I met Connor. And then I didn't know <laughs> what was gonna happen. Um, I obviously ended a relationship, like a four year relationship. And then I was afraid to start into a new one because of the past and how I felt that I rushed everything in the last relationship my high school relationship to my college relationship. And I just didn't want to do that again. Um, Connor wanted me to move to North Carolina and that's just, you know, I moved to North Carolina. So in North Carolina, um, so 2018, 2019 turned 29. Um, I was still in a dark place. Um, I just, <sighs> I don't even know how to explain it because if you saw me in 2018, 2019, you would never even think that I was in a dark place, but I was in a dark place. Um, and that's until I started doing yoga, um, and actually becoming more one with me and spirituality and just learning that to love myself as who I am. Cause not only am I like, a, am I like, <laughs> negative about the way that I look, but I'm also was very negative in a sense that like, I didn't know who I was. I'm a child at heart. Like I love being a child. I love laughing and being carefree and just not giving a fucking fuck about anything. Right. Um, but the job that I had kind of dampered that and I wasn't able to be that happy self that I was. So I caught myself a lot going back in the past and thinking about um, how I was at like my past jobs and how happy I was there, even though like it was so time consuming and just like I couldn't travel, I couldn't do things. But like at the same time, I was super happy. Yoga has definitely helped me a lot. Um, and, and not even just like yoga, like meditation. And then me and Monique had uh, started our podcast and you know, every time we hang out, we just talk about life and the things that go on in our lives. And so we just wanted to make it into a podcast. And so we started that and it's, we're still, we're still struggling on it, but, um, we'll get there. Um, and then there's 2020. So 2020 was the year of being carefree and not giving a fuck about anything. Um, I started to not care so much about how others might see me. Um, so I stopped like wearing makeup all the time and like making myself look nice because during that point in my life, I felt like I was being fake. Um, I felt like I, I don't know, like it was just putting a mask on and just like not being me. So that happened. Um, and then it just, 
I just want to be more free and more open to things, right? Um, I learned to love myself 100%. Um, I learned to be more open with spirituality and just rolling with the punches. Uh, I talked about how I manifested living here in Washington. I will leave that video above too. I do go more into detail about the woo-woo-ness of it. My message for you guys is no matter what happens in life, don't think of it as a bad thing. It might be a bad thing. Like all of the things that have happened in the past 10 years of my life, some were good, some were bad, some were good, some were bad. Like life is just a roller coaster. And I just want to say that even if something ends like a relationship, a job, whatever it may be, it's not the end of the world. Okay. You will get up from it. You will be a badass bitch and you will make it. Take it from my story in the past 10 years. If I could write a letter to myself, I would literally write, you love yourself so much that no matter what happens in your life, good or bad, you will make it out and you will survive. You will come out 10 times better than how you started. So don't let the negative thoughts get to you. Don't let the negative opinions of others get to you. Do what makes you happy. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below something that happened in your life that you thought was the end of the world, which actually wasn't, and it was a blessing in disguise. Comment that below. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel because it's free. And as always, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.